Hi everyone, my name is Nina Camplin and I am the online arts facilitator for the VC Gallery. Welcome to another one of our live watch parties that are currently replacing the Wednesday workshops. This week, being the 2nd of December, it is the birthday of Georges Seurat, who was best, one of the Impressionists best known for his technique of pointillism. This is called Sunday Afternoon on the Island of Le Grand Chat. He used a technique whereby he didn't mix pigments on his palette. He wanted the viewer's eye to be mixing the colours on the actual um, painting. So he tried to use the pigments pure and then um, j just put lots of small dots down to try and get them to mix visually. You can see all the little dots, especially around the, the boat, you can see that it's made up of lots of like reds and blues and it visually from a distance it starts to look a violet purple colour. So I'm not going to do an actual uh, finished demonstration today um, because I just wanted to show you some different examples of ways of doing pointillism and basically the the smaller the dots the finer the detail so a way, a way a lot of artists use pointillism is just as a, a monochromatic this one is just done with a fine liner and you can see the variation in the dots when they're close together it makes a darker shading and lighter when they're further apart. And what I do, when I do a pointillist painting, I tend to map it out in pencil first so I know where I'm going with it. So first of all, to show you the, the monochromatic one, this is just a black pen. So it's a case of just dotting. And you can see the variation in the dots. When they're close together, it makes a darker shading and lighter when they're further apart. So that's one method that you can use. And then similarly, you can use the fine liners or the sharpies, and you can use them in colour, the sunflower. You can build up the yellows. So if you want to do this in a similar technique to Sura, you could just use the primary colours and you could build up the other colours mixing them together. So if you then start to add some red into the yellow, visually it starts to look more orange. Um, I'm just going to show you some, some examples. This was one that I did using Sharpies, Pentra Evans in Pembrokeshire. And you can see that you've got an orange, it's got yellows, reds, it's got greys in it as well. And all the dark areas where we've got shadow, all I've done is I've kept building the colours up and making them um, all the dark colours from the, the pens. In fact, it's got everything in here, I think. But from a distance, that just looks like dark shading. And uh, it's a case of building it up. When you want a really heavy, dark area, you want to lose the white of the paper. So you have to keep building it up. If you haven't got the patience to do it this way, what you can do is you can use a, a cotton bud and some paint and your dots will be a lot bigger. So you, this is a really good one to do with children. So you can dot in with a cotton bud. And you cover the area a lot quicker. And it also means when you're using paint that you can go back over it. So if you go too dark, you can also go, you can always go back into it with a white later and add some more white into it. And it will mix slightly as well because it's still wet. And if it's, that is t still too slow for you to build up, you've got your fingers. So you can actually dot it on with your fingers, which will cover the area really quickly. Again, kids love this, getting your fingers messy. There are, of course, lots of other things you can use. You can use pencils, you can use um, pastels, you can use the end of your paintbrush if you want to get if you want to use paint but get it slightly finer so um yeah that's a, just just a few examples and if you want to have a go at this do put aside a couple of hours because it does take ages to build it up especially if you're going with the fine very fine dots um 
I'm hoping everyone will have a go at this and obviously it will work on pretty much any subject matter. I have got one other example I pulled out to show you. This was this was done in a sketchbook and this again is um marker pen. This was my puffin. And you can see again it's a, there's no black in there, so I've used no black, it's just lots of dark colours building it up to make the um the darkness for the the black of his wings so it's a uh, it's good fun it's very um therapeutic very meditative and i would love to see it if you have a go so if so anyone does have a go at doing some pointillism please do load it onto our facebook page because um, we'd love to see it and i will see you again next week mm -hmm.